Hello everybody, Fast Rasman back again with another episode of our little adventure in the Early Access Distant Kingdoms. What I'm probably going to do, I'm probably going to do another couple of episodes just on this today's and another one towards the end of the week. And I might then step off it for a little while, let, let the game update a little bit, but we'll see how we get on. Because a lot of the things coming out I want to cover and I don't want to overstretch myself. Well, let's see how we get on with this. I think I've done my classic mistake of trying to put everything together and I've, I've had myself zero room to actually add decoration in, which is probably not a wise thing today. But let's see where I are with everything. I can't remember. Let's go a bit faster. The orcs are quite happily going there. So that is no resources, experience button. Okay, no resources there. So let's sort you out. Shortage, shortage. Shortage, a shortage of everything. We know. Let's not go too quickly because it's going to be faster than I can manage that. We've got no quest showing. We've got that one. Uh, okay, so let's just come off that cell. Does that mean we need to provide more things over here? So, what are you? you are a tavern. You are in windmill. Let's have what we can build. Let's build an animal farm, put it kind of like. Let's put it kind of like here. Let's put it kind of like there. Let's put it where I can. <laughs> yeah, let's get the vote to it so I don't forget. Okay. Well, let's get that going. Mid density, mid density. Let me remember. So mid density is we haven't got enough. We haven't got enough resources of that to do that for schooling. Okay. Okay, that's churning away doing tools. Okay, that's churning away. You're doing that up there. I wish you could mine these stones. Uh, dodgy dealings. Rumour has it that some questionable activities have taken place in the, at the tavern. Apparently the landlord has been watering other drinks and so it's doubled to save stock and earn more money, ripping everyone off. The scoundrel, although innocent until proven against, surely. Launching investigators into the landlord. Ridic what a ridiculous I wouldn't what a ridiculous allegation he wouldn't dare. No, we're gonna find out because quite frankly if you ask that's disgusting. You talk about watered down beer? obscene. Let's have a quick look at where we are in terms of what's we'll you there. It seems Landlord is actually innocent and is now very angry at you. He seems to have found a way to pay less tax to come back to you. How dare he? That's that's awful. Oh well. Uh, I'll sidetrack myself now. Let's have a quick look. Realm overview. Yes, we are maxed out on peasants. We need more houses. And I have, quite frankly, not thought about how... I've crammed everything together, so I've got room for decoration now. I've got very room for people either. My tools keep going this way now. We shall expand our orc territory. This is a good day. The coal mines of Coke literally struck gold, located a massive gold deposit. Happy days without that one already. More money, we like that. Let me pause while I consider how we're going to tackle this. Give you uh, like that. I'm going to call it because we're going to need a road on that anyway. And to be careful on that because that is going to. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm have to go on this way as well, I think. Uh, we'll take that way. Okay. Right, so let's get some houses down. Whom's houses? Uh, like uh, we rotate them this way so we can send them that way. I wonder. I wonder if I've, I've expanded a little bit too quickly, and therefore I'm chucking houses down with gay abandon without really thinking about. Uh, I don't know because I. I seem to be able to throw down a lot of houses, but not really kind of think about the implications of doing that. 
in terms of running out of room. I'll be careful. I'll be careful. I could. What I don't want to do is is impact on that animal farm's ability to put houses down. So I'm going actually second. And no, that's not what I wanted to do. Because he's going to have that whole. Uh, I, I'm, I always do that. I'm always doing that. He, I'm going to put you up there, right as far as I can go. And then uh, spin you around. If I can remember how. Right, get the path built. Centre of the matter. That's the houses. And that's an animal farm. I want to get. No, come on, brain. The houses. So let's go rotate you. Let's start from here. We need more stone. I, we need, I always get to that as well. Hold on, shift to put my houses down. Let's kind of get you together. Because at the moment, I need more people. Let's rotate you around. Ah. I keep and one of the I can't remember which one it is, but I've got the one of the games I'm covering at the moment where the rotation key is R on my keyboard, and I'm by default by instinct I'm pressing that. We ain't got any money. That'll be why. Okay, I've got enough to keep us going anyway. All right. Okay, uh, don't like that. Hang on, let's go back this way. Let's on pause it that way. No, no, no. What's that? Oh, hang on. What's that? I don't know. There's nothing. We've got plenty of mana wells, but they're not really doing much. Well, that's uh, well, they are, but they're not really kind of helping us. Let's go to this tavern and let's send this lot on a job. Hmm. Click them, go like that. They're off doing that. Okay. All right. So, what can we do decorations-wise? Construction. Decoration. Uh, crane. There's like loads you can do. Noble Gate. See, I think I've made. I yeah, I've not thought this through. I don't think I've left enough. Kind of. If I put that here, uh, the entry has happened upon some sort of crumbling structures lit littered with, littered between and them. Written there. I start again, shall I? Littered between them and the entrance are an uninviting view of charred ground, frosted trees, and heavy mud. Might this be the form of proving grounds of Moria, goddess of elements? Then to go into the dragon. To do trials of Moria. To surprise that all adventures have reached the entrance and eventually they're quickly greeted by their first obstacle, the front door. Yep, so we've kind of cast a fireball at it or strong. Fireball, fire magic or strong. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I, I think that's action points. So if I cast a fireball at it. Yeah. He's there, we're in, alright. See, that's the one I talk about, I've not left enough room. It's been affected by emergency, oh, it's burning down. It's my fire engine taking care of this. Look at this. Trials of more, yeah, that's action points. Proceed past, proceed past the door and down the first set of stairs, down by the ground, the adventurers sit, enter a long hallway with an impossibly high ceiling, a long the hallway every few feet are human height human height stone pillars arranged in pairs on either side occasionally a frosty blue spark materialises so we've had this before so this is athletic we can't do frost magic let's spread it out frost magic okay yeah we've got through right let me just let me think see when I look when, when we look at the decoration because I've not left myself a lot of room there's not a lot you can do because I haven't really left myself enough room to uh, cut things. A lot of these are just kind of ornaments. A lot of these Proceeding past the hallway, the party enters what appears to be a large chasm. They're standing on the platform, pieces of rope strewn about. There's a door on its own, on its own platform on the other side. There's no obvious, obvious way to reach it. If you're strong, we can. Prepare the rope, otherwise we can get earth magic. So we've got earth magic from him. So we've only let's just do him because he's he's got uh, two action points left. He's ah. Uh, right, so let's have if we put kind of a pond in. 
I say it's deco and items because the way I've built, I've crammed everybody together. I've not got room for decoration. Oh, no, which is not the best way of doing it, really. What else can we get? Grass, wooden benches, wooden beams, tool shed. I'd love to know what what uh, what this effect this has on on settlements. Basically, have a look across the chairs and facing some rough river rapids. Looking around, the next door is downstream. Reach it eventually, have to traverse the hazardous waters. That is frost magic, frost magic. Let's go again. One leave, one out, one leave. So, obviously, if you're perceptive, persuasive, sharp hearing, uh, fire, earth, you've got fire, you've got earth, mana, mana. They'll put these guys are pretty much the same. So we'll water magic or water magic or frost magic, frost magic. So oh, we've made it. All right. Because if I put it here, I can fit them in. But then, if I put them in there, how do I put houses there? That's the next question. Let's see if I put a house there. So now, if I go and put a house there, and I go and put a house, can I put a house in that corner? See, I can't because it's uh, I can't because it's blocked. Which to me it's a bit stupid because. It's decoration, but if I put decoration, I can't. Put, I don't know. I'm not sure how that works because it kind of you, you, you kind of you would anticipate decoration is there to say so you can make your house look better, make the area look better. I'd love to know what effect this has, has on the game or the people. Put a mailbox there. Decks per square. Put another one there. I don't know. I'd, I'd like to know what effect this has on inhabitants as to whether it makes them feel happy having decorations dotted about the place. It'd be interesting to know, because at the moment, unless it affects me directly, I don't see the point of uh, re spending resources and time doing it. But so, if you want to make the village look pretty, I don't really know. All right, let's have a look what we got on over here. Uh, everything's happening at Snell's place. Man, I'm on a slow mark, slow thing on. Let's go back over here. Money's not exactly flying. The humans aren't happy where we are now. Alright, so enter the next chamber. The adventures are pre presented with what can only be described as a full full room swimming pool, except the water is covered in thin ice. You walk over it, and it's called a state of mistake to be sh to be sure. So we can't walk on it. More fossil magic, or we go fire magic. Fire magic can melt it and walk across, or freeze it. We can't. Well, it says here we can use you, so I'm not understand why we can. Right, okay, let's do that. I thought they were action points, but I might be completely wrong on that. But anyway, uh, what's wrong with the humans? Uh, happiness is 59. So, how do, I, how do I then? Well, most of you, mana, you over there. So, resources, general. So, we people are emigrating, but people are coming in. Okay, I'd, I'd love to know why they're leaving. You know, how do we see? How do we see uh, lenses? Ah, lenses. Okay, let's do this and look at lenses then. A ah, happiness lens. Right. Okay. Right. Well, we're leaving the poor chamber and entering the next. The inconsistency of this place continues. They find themselves in a claustrophobic cavern with the ceiling only just high enough for adventures to fit. The adventures aren't quite sure what the trial in the area is until they finally notice it. Quicksand. So, quicksand is telekinesis, earth magic, earth magic. So if I can use him again, slide this the ground. You can do. Okay. Happiness. So, they're unhappy. Why are they unhappy is a middle question. Why are they... Un ah, I don't know, but I know why. I don't know why. Because they're the people I upgraded and I doubt the people are. That's it, because I, had, I upgraded them without actually having the resource to actually provide their enhanced needs. Having gotten past the cave, the adventurers once again find themselves in a more typical hallway. Aside from the state of this priorities, and at the end of the hallway is the door the adventure should be humanly used. To a sense that it couldn't be that simple, is shared by the party. So, not to use you yet. Man of affinity, perception, man of affinity. Venture sends shock waves that thunder down the hallway, shattering the note, knocking various pieces of masonry over. As it pieces multiple trip wires sn snap, leading to a cavalcade of uh, flames erupting from the walls. Yep, so we survived that. It's because they require things I can't give them. 
because I'm missing school. I need a school right. That's my fault for not to. Uh, uh, that makes sense. Let's kind of. Uh, hang on. I don't have to pop all these adventures ones, don't The next chamber. Oh, oh, this place is more on it than the previous. Could it be the adventures are approaching the end? Regardless of the trials, continue to just stand before the adventures. One marked with an emblem of fire, one with water. Okay. Fire, fire. Let's go with this guy this time. Party action points, two or four. Okay. So we're going to go fire magic with your money. Okay, the door opens, the party is free to continue onwards. Alright, so that's because I need to open up the schools then because I've, yeah, I've overburnt this. So we can't, we haven't got the capacity to do any of this. This is a bit of a pain. Well, I don't have one on building so much stuff, that's why. Enter the next time, the, the door ahead of the party is vast, intricately detailed and exquisite, carv inqui exquisite carvings of the four elements. It is fair to assume that this may be the antechamber of this place, similar to the first entrance where all elements engraved are glowing apart from water. So we've got, any got, we've got nobody with water spell, have we? Try to guess, we haven't got a lucky character either. So we've got pretty much, we've pretty much kind of guessed on this one. Uh, well, there's nothing we can do because we don't have the right character. Uh, unfortunately, spraying them on the face didn't work, so I'm going to look at character. We'll use you. Yep. So we failed on that one. Okay. Alright, so. I'm now being punished because I charged too far ahead in, in our little. Uh... Why have we got no stone or wood? What is going on here? It's because I'm building so much dust, probably why. I'm building way, way too much stuff. And they'll get over it. I'm assuming they'll downgrade if I don't provide resources to them. That's where my woods go in on this one over here. That's where my woods go in, because... <coughs> so we've got Max Pending Residence 33. Move in. Emigration Cap 11. Emigrates Risk of Leaving Zero. 20... Um, Employed 24. Okay, so. Mm, uh, what are the wisp? James, what are the wisp? Do, do, do. We're going to need a drill. Luckily, the veg party make their way home, making their way home also follow the wisp into the bog. Two groups managed to work out to escape together. Happy days. I'm going to go to that a second, see if that agrees with what I think. So we've got employed. Okay. So, available jobs, we've got a few available jobs, not many, but a few. Okay, interesting. He says, uh, interesting. <laughs> I can't still, we still haven't got enough wood. Let's not build anything, let's, let's, put, let's get some more wood going then, I think. So, primary industry, lumberyard. lumberyard. Let's put one on, let's rotate so I can see where your door is. Let's get a little path to you. I'm assuming you're going to need a path. I'm assuming you're going to need a path. So let's see you there. Uh, path, path, path. Perfect. Okay, righty. <laughs> I'm building lots of stuff, which is why we're kind of all out of everything. So, no resources in range. Spend to plant. Right over here, can we do anything over here? Still a complete lack of wood. It's we started to hurt somewhat. Okay, we're going as fast as we can. Let's see if there's still these adventures out somewhere. There's no point in looking at that, so let's have a look what's up here then. Okay, so there's no other point in looking at that. Okay. That other tavern in danger of being finished yet? No it's not. That's when we wood, we wooden stones going on this massacre thing. I didn't think that through, really, did I? Uh, stellar job, they've cleared that then. Okay, then let's run out of stuff. So, planting. Okay, that's planted everywhere. Happy days. 
Okay, let's have a look at look over here. Can you put any more farms down? You're at six of six, aren't you? So you can't put anything else down. You've not, you've not even been built yet. You're on your way though. That's where my stone. That's where my stones going. Is over here. I've got stacks of cash. Let's get you exploring again. Let's get you going to there. Let's get you going to there. Yeah, it's kind of. I'd love to know decoration-wise what you can, because obviously I've crammed everybody together to maximise my space. Well, that's kind of thing for myself. I can't use my decorations because apparently they need to be any space for them. So it's kind of what do you do? I suppose you have to leave space between each one and not crumb all together so much. Uh, mm -hmm, resources, wood. It's stone. We ain't got a lot of. This stone we've got zero off, I don't know about out. We've got no stone at all. Uh, what we've got there. Uh, reckless defenders. I've gained enough to level up. This is good news indeed. Action points. Comp party morale. What for the upkeep? Exploring. Idle. Okay. So, we, they're on the way back. We can't send them on the adventure. Apparently, they're still doing something. Okay, so. Do, do, do. Where's my village gone? Alright, so we've seen to have made two main village centres. That's starting to happen. Is that increasing our mana, though? Our net mana. So, hopefully, that will increase our net mana. Hopefully, he says. Let's have a look in overview. City overview. Mana. Mana, well, we've got we've got lots of mana wells, but I've got no employees for said mana wells. Great. We lack the people for the mana wells. Let's change that by chucking some more houses down. I wonder if there's a kind of vicinity you have to be to actually. I wonder if there's a kind of you've got to be within a certain distance to work in a certain place, or whether you you can be other end of the village. Because I'm just wondering. I've built I built those. All the way up here, I'm wondering if they can kind of come all the way down there for work. It would be nice if they killed. Okay, that tells now. See if I can upgrade some more houses, sir. Uh, back in the stone. Eesh. Come on, stone. It's just this that's just killing us. I could do find some more stone. Marble. Oh, you all up here? We need more stone. I wonder if we check up mine these hills. Let's see if I can put them on, snap them onto anything. So if I go primary industry, uh, stone mine. There's no stone anywhere. That's is that a stone mine? Incorrect. Or so you can't snap it. You say basically it's red. You can't snap it to anything. Was a complete lack of stone, isn't there? We're getting hurt by a complete lack of stone. A complete lack of stone. Hmm, I don't know what to do about that, other than find more stone. But I can't stop between any of these, though. It doesn't look like you can, do. It's got to be a little outcrop, like what we've always snapped to. Bing put Or. Oh, I can't find any stone anywhere. I haven't got the people to kind of mind, look after it anyway. You have only one, a one stone resource, as far as the eye can see. That's a lot of bears over there, isn't there? Yeah. That's a bit frustrating, because I'm a little bit kind of... So that's valid, but it's miles away. That's miles away from the settlement, that is. That's not just sucking up, I reckon. We're like for people. Let's see, we've got we've got space. We should have kind of. They're now all working. So let's have a look at the old man. Let's have a look at you. Chicken cheese out. I've no idea what that even was. Some quest or something. I don't know. What are you? You are what? Let me. You are a animal farm. 
uh, and let's get chicken, let's rotate you, and let's get an egg and kind of put you there, I think that'll do you, looks like I've maxed that out, okay, I've got one little one over there, you haven't even built yet, I'm tempted to pause you, because quite frankly we're struggling. Uh, oh no, someone has been going around and magically locking the doors of business for a fun prank. Uh, fix it for a month. I'm going to pause you because we need to stay on elsewhere. I'm actually, I'm almost tempted to bin you off. I'm actually almost tempted to demolish you. Because I really think we could do the stuff elsewhere. Hmm, that might have been a mistake, but we'll soon find out. Now, will it let me, oh, I've done it again, why did I do that? It's my favourite habit of not looking what I'm doing. It's too easy to delete stuff in this game. Literally with my club fingers, keep accidentally pressing the wrong button. Okay. Let's just try not doing what I'm about to do. Let's click on you. Can I now upgrade you? Yes, I can. So if I go next density, do I have to acquire you to the next density again? So what density your or what? Your peasant house uh how do I tell what density you are? Okay. Let's do a few more around here. Mid density. I'm doing it but I'm not entirely sure you recognise the fact I'm doing it, so call the highest available density. Let's just do you lot. So we can't do that because we haven't got enough. Okay, so you've upgraded. So I'm not entirely sure what else I've got to do here because I've upgraded this lot. Where are you? Let's get you upgraded as well. So I can't up okay, so I can't do it any further, so I'm not entirely sure. Build ten mid density house citizens' houses. So oh hang on, hang on a second. Uh I've got to promote to blinking citizens, haven't I? That's what I've not done. See if I this is an experiment, can I do this to one of them? Oh it does it without ye oh, I've been doing this all wrong. So I can do I don't have to upgrade the density. Well, I can do, but I don't have to. Let's put everybody over here, because that's where I'm going to need my skills. It's kind of over here. Let's get you on the end there. So I've just upgraded my density uh, to get more people in. More. Let's get you upgraded. Well, that's now done. Let's tick into that. Go into there. We're paused. Good. So I'm going to go up to here, to schools. We're going to unlock schools. Larger fruit farm. What are you? Artisan tier. This unlocks artisans to grow settlement. Make sure you use guard houses though. Right, so you get got crime. We kind of and that is a fruit farm. We can hit that to set focus unlock. Gives us wine, wine press and wine. Fruit farm cider. Fruit farm. Your dedicated planters. That's it, vital. Oh, right, cool. We'll focus on that because that will be useful. I'm having to worry about doing that myself. Right, let's get school built. We can get rid of you because we've ticked you off. Let's get a school built. Let's go to here. Let's go down a bit. So if we go to service buildings, a school, let's get a school built. Let's rotate it around. Let's get one down here. Let's stick one up here because we're going to, we don't need one up there quite yet because all my citizens are down here, aren't they? Okay, let's get you kind of. Oh my goodness me, you quite look marble. Great, we haven't got any marble, have we? Oh no, I just spun that one on me. Man, I really should have thought, so I should have looked into that a bit more, shouldn't I, really? Because. Not snap to resource, let's rotate it around a bit. Oh, nope. Let's use the wrong book to rotate it around. Let's go Q. 
let's put path down. Up there. Have we got any more marble flying about? Anyway, I can. Uh, oh, that's that one up here as well. We'll have a bit of you, won't we? Marble, marble mine. Let's spin you around. I just complete there. Uh, no matter, plant. Oh dear, smelly ever. Didn't tell us about that, did you? Okay, right. That tavern finished, that's it. Let's, let's, let's go to here. Let's go to here and let's recruit a party. So let's have a look. So we've got, what do you, you've got lucky. We need a lucky person. So let's hire you. You are shady, a jeweller, and you are a dwarf. We've got your athletic, orcish, and courageous. I like you. Let's have you. What else have we got? We've got this up already. Your orcish and clap the klepto. I like you. One more. We've already got these people. Already. Who are you? You are elven, scholar, and strong. I will recruit you. Return to the map. All right, so. You lot now can go and investigate that, and you lot can go and investigate that. Okay, let's slow down a little bit. Right, we've got two. We've got two pubs now, which is quite something more. Your adventures have arrived at what appears to be fabled, be the fabled, old, fabled, cap, cap, cap shares. Or the god of chaos and patron of the imps. This dungeon is sure to be filled with hidden traps, garden, untold riches. We're going in. Okay. It isn't long before the adventurers reached the first obstacle, the front door. The large ornate stone structure with intricate carvings of imps causes, causing mischief. There's no obvious way to open it. We haven't got anybody with perceptive. Pull a prank on a nearby adventurer. Okay, why would you do that? Oh, hang on. Uh, so you've got lucky, courageous. Go with that one. Right, so we can't get in, and we'll go. Uh, one thing an immensely annoyed adventurer later. One finger pulling the door opens a shudder. Okay, fair enough. That was an un unexpected bonus, wasn't it? All right, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of easy to use a lot of resources. Oh, where we are, hang on. Cap shows a hall. The adventurers make their way past the stone door and begin walking down the grand set, grand yet dim, dim little hallway. Exquisite pillars and alcoves adorn the walls on either side. The hallway appears to go on and on and on. Light magic. God, this poor oh dear me, we've got no magic at all. I haven't chosen a decent uh, perceptor, I've got nothing. That uh, we we we're a bit we're a bit out. I can't do anything. A perceptive character. We haven't got anybody that can do magic at all. That didn't go well, did it? That was a bit of a colossal disappointment, wasn't it? There you go. Yeah, troll. Okay, this lot. So we've got a party follows a troll, they come to a dried up riverbed at the bottom of a deep gorge. The battered remains of a barge lie on the bottom of the gorge, leaving the party stuck. Okay. Alright, so they can't get across the gorge, right? So we've got mana, mana, mana. Let's get athletic, mana. The bridge is strong, and the party cross. We might have mixed the parties up a little bit, I think. Okay. What if you can do that? I wonder if you can do that. Mm, do, do, do. Right. Mm, okay. Troll forest. As a party reaches the other side of the gorge, the beneath, earth beneath them gives a nomadic shudder and gives her underneath the party stumble and begins to fall towards the ancient river. This is going to hurt. So we've got grab the ledge, strong, or mana to break the fall. Hmm. What do we want to do? Let's. Mana. Wonderful, you're able to grab the ledge 
of the gorge, edge of the gorge just in time, take the weight of the comrades and everyone climbs back out to continue. Okay, that's going to take a lot, isn't it? Stones flying, tools are flying, these pommies are going to be uh, marble. Uh, once safe over the gorge party continues, troll included, it guides them deeper into the forest, advising them they'll be on the correct path. Soon as they follow the troll, it stops dead and the pot walk right into it. They disangle themselves, they realise that their way is but by a of, band of gnomes. Everyone knows, everyone knows that they carry the gnome pox. Okay. Diplomatic. Convince the gnomes to allow them to pass without biting them. That was lucky. Okay. Yeah, I might need to mix the teams up a bit because I've got everybody skilled in one area. In one team. Where are we in terms of people? Apparatus is bombing, isn't it, really? Oh well. The party advances, the party, the party advances, weapons drawn, and, ro and rather than edge, continue to follow the troll who has weirdly stopped telling them that they're almost on the right path. Suddenly, the trees thin up ahead, revealing a heavy wooden gate that's guarded by two more trolls. The party, the party's guard advises them that their safe path, the safe path is through these gates, and they must ask the guards permission to enter. Troll tongue, uh, Attempt to impress the guard. The guards are offended by the attempt to charm the advisor the party. They're not fooling anyone. Access is denied. Okay. I used the wrong one, didn't I? Oh, you. I'd used the wrong one. That was silly. I wasn't looking at what I was doing on that one. And he's completely the wrong person. Oh well. Is this man has started to cock? Here we go. Right, now, we, now, we, now we're talking. Right, let's go into build. Let's get to totems, twitches, fire safety, happiness. Let's get me ha unhappy lens out. Let's get me unhappy lens out, and let's go to a a build. And let's get a, a totem of happiness. And let's put one. In ha let's put one kind of. Can't put one there, can I? Uh, where can I get maximum coverage? Uh, right there, I reckon. On there. Let's get another one. Another manner of happiness. And stick it about here. Okay. Hopefully that'll make people a bit happier. Let's get my lens out. Cool. Oh, okay then, that was a... A result of somewhat. Okay, now what? We're still... We're still struggling with the fact that this ain't exactly flying long, is it? All oh, that, as a matter of fact. I shouldn't have, well, then they done. They seem all stone. Let's speed them up a little bit. Uh, let's have a look at me adventures while we're at it. Uh, right, let's get to the tavern. And if you need, and if you need multiple tavern, I wonder if I get rid of having one tavern. Right, so if I edit the party and edit the party. Uh, edit the party. Who can okay, no, I actually put on who we own? Party members. How do we roster? So this is who we've got. So we've got. See, I don't have you, you see. These people we haven't got. So we've got. Let's go back and build the party. Return to the map. So we've got the Reckless Defenders. Edit party. Reckless Defenders are Dara, Orwin, Grell, Silas, and Ryan. They're all there. See, there's people we haven't got on here as well, which is confusing. Yeah, I wish I could. Ju I, would, I just want to filter it just so I can see who I, who's actually in my parties. I don't want to be. I want to swap people between the parties. I'm not disbanding it. Okay. Let's get you lot some kind of some simple and let's get you lot going there. And I've got that one to check out as well at some point. Okay. Let's go back this way. Alright then. Okay, let's speed up ever so slightly. We need this school building. Well we need we need this so we can unlock that other thing that I can't remember what we're unlocking. So you are stone what's killing us. We need more stone. Can I, can I, have I missed a trick yet? 
this is stone. Let's go to. If I. Okay. So if I up the number. Prioritise this. Move you out there a second. 12 for us have this one already, don't we? Begin the encounter. Uh, so if I go here and go. Building to have all. As over us get employees. Alright, so. But they're maxed out already anyway. So I'm not entirely sure that makes a difference to be quite honest with you. Uh, so we've got building new bridge, man of affinity, we'll do colour the new bridge, is R, cross, splendid, uh, potential threat, someone has come running segment, uh, attempt to find the dragon, leave it, okay so, hang on, I wish you could get old messages coming back because I'm a little bit, uh, right with it so, Strong, grab the ledge quickly. It's Zar. It's a troll one again, and I've completely lost where me where we are. Because I'm a she. I wonder what are you? You are your stone. So you are. So you're maxed as well already. So if I kind of max you both out, you're are you iron, aren't you? So I'll just put you back on two. Two. So I'm not sure if it makes, how do I then, jobs, upgrades, so, oh, so like survey training, so, yes I need to upgrade that, jobs, uh, but, no, so we can't add more to that, because it ain't got any dwarves in there, have we, oh, ok, so, let's go back to the old exploration, the kind of pub, and have a look who's about, so they're both busy. They're both out and about doing stuff. Right, they're back. Uh, usernames, diplomatics will use old, uh, put all in here to have a chat with them. They've let's past. Okay. Alright, it's back to the past here. Back here because we're going to be back here soon enough. That's still not finished. That's still not finished. You're waiting on stone. But they're both trying to get stuff, so I'm going to pause you and hopefully. Oh, hang on. Draw, yes, we're back at the troll gate, so let's this time let's use the right person. Uh, use troll tongue. Use Zar, okay, alright. If I pause you, hopefully that means you'll get finished, because you're going to get the priority of the stone. With any luck. Can I get a right mana completely? Okay. Alright. Okay, let's look at this. Party advantage, before the gates can creak open, Quick close behind them, they are stopped by the guards, they forgot to search the party. So we've got courageous, courageous, courageous. Be charming during the search to stop the guards. Persuade the guards that are dead not to search the party. Let's try let's try persuading them. Suddenly the guards change their minds and both party through how very strange. Very strange indeed. Alright, let me just pause this a second. Hygiene, foreman, this is we haven't got enough mana. Okay, so we need more mana, okay. That's step. As soon as we've got 15 mana, we'll get that and we'll stick it on the stone. Hopefully that'll start increasing stone production. However, well, hang on. As the party passes the guards, an almighty roar meets their ears. They walk straight into an arena, dug into the floor, and the trolls surround them. Uh, they are apparently the steps forward and demands the party fights the bands of troll at once. Their guide led them into a trap. So, persuasive. Beg for mercy. Oh, I've done it wrong again. Oh no, hang on. Yeah, well, it worked though. It worked. That was lucky. Let me just check what. Uh, the adventure successfully cleared the cleared the encounter. Now you can build in the hex. Victory is ours. Pause. Realm. Manor. Ah, uh, because the totems, right? The totem. You put totems in. They in, they use mana. Therefore, right? I got you. So I need to build more manners. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Uh, what we're looking for now? Service buildings, manor well. Let's build some up top here. That made sense actually. Now I like that made perfect sense. So we've got a bit of space to put some manor wells. We'll put one there. And I'll forget to keep hold of it. At the, and we'll put another one. And I can't I spin you around. And I've done it again. I keep forgetting to press. I keep forgetting to keep, keep my finger on shift. Okay, that's that's to get them going. Okay. Well, 
so they are there, so let's look at my adventures. And uh, I wish you a quick way, I might, unless I'm missing something. Uh, the foreman has decided not to pay staff, forced him to pay staff. That's outrageous, not paying your staff. What was I going to do there? Let's slow it down. Let's have a look on here. Let's go to exploration. They are ready. So let's send them just something simple. Hopefully it's simple, he says. Uh, there's been a lot of weird activity happening at the coal mine. Like reports tremors and odd smell throughout the mine causing concern. Uh, let's shut down the mine for the time being. Let's not, let's not risk any, any fires. We've got enough problems going on. Okay, so that is taking its time purely because of the stone. Okay. Give me all the time. Do, do, do. Happiness is not. Happiness is. Not great. Uh, the mine inspector is clear that there's explosive risk. It's being dealt with, and the mine is now. Nip in the wood, good timing. Yep, that was good timing, I agree with that entirely. More stuff, extra tax. So much great at mass, resulting in too much being taken, back's been paid. Give it back to the people. Yep, I'm not about that, we want happy people. Look at the dwarven encampment, the dwarves will start moving in. If you've got empty houses, that is splendid. Uh, they're over there, so. Okay, so we've got someone keeps hiding the, the adventurer's weapons, meaning they can't go exploring. Uh, oh, adventures up and the thieves, that was costly. Now they're back from their adventure, so we'll send them there. So we found the dwarf settlements, how have we got empty houses? So they're there, so will we get empty houses for the dwarves? Is a Miller Villa question. No, is the answer to that one. That is built finally. Let us let us build some houses for said Dunley over back again. Enter the Yeah, that one. Do, do, do. Yeah, for the large door. We wanna go we've got prankster or percept let's go with perception. We're in. Let's get some houses down, let's get some let's get some lost dwarves moving in and to live with us. Uh, hang on, my build as I did, you know, realise. I'll do that for the time being. Right, okay, so. Pass the home door, down the hall, because it pillars, persuasive, perceptive, because we know what's going to happen. Yep, okay, okay, right. Let us have a look at, let's have a look at. Okay, happiness is so we're in there. Last square room, it's obvious we're out port to reach and reach my way through someone to sit. I'm naturally slime in the high water, so we've got all frost magic. And we'll go with you, I'll go with you, and we'll go frost magic. Yeah, that's worked. We need some more houses for the dwarves, we need to expand a bit. Let's expand up here. And let's go house there. Dab, dab, dab. We'll go shift so we can call the necklace defense out. It's going to go that way. Let's rotate you all the way around. Do this. Shift. Shift. And right, let's get this done. Right. Uh, open the door, find themselves in what appears to be a grand lodge library, exquisite bookshelves filled to the brim with ancient tomes, practical jokes, form, remains. Well, we've got nobody can do any of this. Jeweller or detective, we're in a bit of trouble. Let's tell you with. That's something different, isn't it? Wow. Okay, that was a, a stroke, that was a success. Okay, alright. Let's think about, right, okay, and let's stop here actually. Uh, we start to get long crescents, we know that, I think it's a perfect place to stop and review where we are with everything. 
the school is still taking a lot. Hopefully we're going to get dwarfs coming in soon. Because they'll hopefully increase the efficiency of our mines. It's a lot to take in. I, again, if, you've play, if you're playing this at the moment, I'd love to know what effect what effect the uh, these have on the these have other than they cost money I'd love to know whether do they increase happiness of people because we need it you know let, if they increase happiness in the, in the community like me now I'd love to know what's what the other than make your settlement look nice what's the point of it obviously when you want you want to make your settlement look nice but is it just purely for aesthetics or do they have a material effect on the game that's what I want to discover but anyway I hope you've enjoyed that I am, we'll be back again later in the week, and then we'll have a think about where we want to go with this. And I, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I shall see you in the next one. Alright then, bye.